Okay, so today we are going to talk about uh, this uh, new intelligent lookup functionality under the data builder. Okay, what exactly is this uh, new intelligent lookup? SAP is saying uh, using this uh, intelligent lookup functionality, we can you know merge data from two entities even there are problems joining them. Okay, so we can try to understand this particular uh, intelligent lookup with a simple example for our understanding. So I'm taking one example called, you know, I have a data, transaction data in this way, document number, material, quantity, and unit, okay? So I have a master data of material in this way. So since it is a master data, I have it in a proper format, M1, M2, M3, three materials are there with a the description, material one, material two, material three. In my transactional data, um, if it is coming from SAP, or is it coming from, you know, SAP, then definitely we can make sure whatever data is coming it is always in a proper format but when the data coming from non sap systems or from the you know from other uh, raw data via flat files then we cannot guarantee on the data format it means so if you see in this transaction data in my on my material column i have mid m1 which is exactly matching with my master data when coming to m2 you see i have here small m2 but uh, in it is it must be in capital m2 so on material column i got capital m1 and i have small m2 and m3 hash so this particular mass data whatever i am getting under material column is not in a proper way so when i try to join with this material information with material mass data to get the description of each material what will happen if i perform a left outer join on with uh, you know transactional data with the master data only m1 will match with the master data and remaining to these two m2 and m3 hash will not match with my master data and the descriptions will not get populated okay so this is the general case uh, be, uh, in general pw we were using uh, some abap statements and all we can try to do join and all but uh, if we do a nominal join between these two this is how the data will be only m1 will get data first record only will get the description remaining two will be null because the key was not exactly matching with the master data okay but by using intelligent lookup we can able to bring in you know descriptions for this m2 and m3 hash also okay in the if we perform intelligent lookup and uh, do this uh, functionality of join condition by applying some of the rules here we can able to uh, get the expected output so how we can able to get the expected output let's see, look into the system so for this what i am doing i taken a master data of material which is like this format m1 m2 m3 m4 like this i have some master data one table is the dddt material text two with along with the description okay and i taken another table of analytical data set with the transactional data so in my transactional data if we see here i taken material information in multiple formats like m1 with capital letter small m2 and underscore m3 m4 hash i taken different combinations of material so if i try to join my transactional data with the material master data to get the description of material then what will happen that it some for few of the records it will you know it get the description and some other it won't get okay so let's look into this intelligent lookup so by clicking on this new intelligent lookup from the data builder i can create a new uh, new one here it is proposing you know some format so we need to provide an input a lookup rule and output okay so now as a, what is the input whichever data you know uh, unformatted data i am getting that must be my input so i have my data available under the uh, dbta sales to table so i am taking that unformatted data in my input table so now i want to compare this with lookup so to bring the material description i want to come you know uh, do lookup with material master data so i am taking my material master data on the lookup table okay so on the input table so what is happening first select the input table uh, on the right hand side on the input properties we need to uh, provide the pairing column pairing column is nothing but when we do look up on which key you are going to perform the combination okay so here i am selecting material as my pairing column okay nothing but join condition let's consider it as a join condition 
okay that's it so on the input you need to mention the pairing column we can add multiple i think multiple also um, like for example you see uh, no, multiple is it allowing let me check one more time I think multiple it is not a line pairing column okay and uh, when I go to this lookup on the lookup table what is happening written columns means after doing the pay, um, join between these two which column you want to return so I want to return my description column so I am bringing description into my written columns okay so that's it now uh, so I defined input and I defined a lookup also now this is the exact rule so here I need to define the rule so what is this rule so I want to join these two tables uh, based on material so I am defining the match condition on material okay and let's consider this uh, name as a um, rule one I'm giving a name as rule one so now let's after this uh, whatever output I got here at that will be mapped to my output here so my output contains all the columns from my input and my um, description column from the lookup table you see document number input material and then this one okay so what is this input material input material is nothing but my pairing column okay so like this I am getting now let me deploy so I defined a very simple one now what I am going to do I am going to save and deploy this uh, intelligent lookup to show you how it is working so the name I am going to give is a uh, uh, because it is a data builder db underscore uh, intelligent lookup underscore sales underscore one i'm giving this name so once it is saved i'm going to deploy this one and before deploying can i execute before without deploying this uh, intelligent lookup by clicking on this run button we can run this so you must deploy it so first i need to deploy my uh, intelligent lookup one then only i can run this one so what exactly it happens when i execute or run this intelligent lookup so i'm clicking on run button but i'm waiting for the deployment so if you see here the status is still showing not deployed So why? Why it is taking the yeah deployed successfully. Now I am clicking on this run button. So when I click on run button, what will happen? It will run this one for the data which is there under my input. This match will happen. You see, twenty nine percent match means for in my transactional data. 29% of the transaction data was matching exactly with my master data and remaining 71% it's not matching. If you click on this output here, DBIL sales one output and go for this data preview. So what we can see here when I click on this one. So my output, when I click on this output tile, I can see my output here. So for the matched records, I am getting material information. So only two records got exactly matched for M1 and M2. Remaining all descriptions got null. It means it is unmatched. That's why 71% got rejected for this match one. Okay. And if I go to, if I click on rule one, then on, on rule one, it will show which has different tabs, rule information, matched, unmatched. So under matched, I can see the columns which are matched. And on the unmatched, I can see the information, which material information is not matched. Okay. Here, if we want, user can um, do it. So when we come to this intelligent lookup, what exactly SAP is saying? Intelligent lookup offers a business centric interactive data harmonization environment for subject matter experts. It means this intelligent lookup is not for our day to day, you know, daily loads and all. It is kind of one of the functionality for subject matter experts to define the data matching criteria and all. Okay. So yeah, we will try to understand that in coming time. Now what happened for mostly seven of the records uh, it was not matched uh, five records uh, five records it was not matched now what I'm going to what we are going to perform next is uh, for the unmatched records we are going to define some extra rules to get the proper value so to do so we need to click on this uh, uh, you know symbol rule if you click on this rule symbol then we will get uh, extra options why it is not coming 
one minute mm, yeah when i click on this rule one it is it is showing two options add rule for multiple matches add rule for unmatched records so for the unmatched records i am going to create a new rule so what exactly is this new rule when i am trying to do the first matching i am doing exact match it means apple to apple match i try to do it now what i am going to do now i am not going to do apple to apple here on the rule so let's give the name of the rule as rule underscore two okay and here what i am going to do is if you scroll down on the rule two here there is an advanced settings under advanced settings there is a case sensitive i am removing the case sensitive so by doing so what will happen now at this type point of and i need to define the match column also i define the match column material to material from source to target now when this time if it is going to search it is it will search with respect to case sense too it means uh, uh, yeah we will get to know now deploy this model in order to check how it is working now we need to rerun after deployment was successful now we need to rerun this intelligent lookup to get the output so far 71 percent of the records got rejected right so now once it is deployed we can rerun to check how many records are getting now populated waiting for the deployment so deployment was successful now i am running it so now intelligent lookup is running so you see now after uh, uh, removing this case sensitivity now 43 percent means out of 71 percent 43 percent now was uh, passed now okay remaining 29 percent of the records got uh, not matched so to understand which uh, what is the output now click on the output to see the data preview and if we see now for the small m2 and small m4 small m5 also now the material description was populated correctly okay but now which are rejected wherever i have some special characters in my material those got rejected now how to handle this kind of things to handle this kind of i am adding one more rule i am going to add okay now click on the rule of on rule 2 and add one more rule add rule for unmatched records now this time what i am going to do for these unmatched records at this time i am uh, first name it as rule underscore three and this time what kind of match and if you see here uh, every time the match strategy is exact match now this time i am changing into fuzzy match what is exactly fuzzy match means fuzzy match means uh, it will check nearby nearby value okay so if we see the unmatched records uh, here m4 uh, underscore and uh, let me see i will show you just a second for this underscore m3 and m4 hash when i remove this underscore it is near it is nearly matching with m3 okay because of underscore it is not exact match but if underscore is not there then it is exactly matching with the master data so fuzzy search will handle this kind of you know nearly matching but uh, when i'm using this uh, fuzzy search uh, there is a threshold match thresholds are there so here in the sip help uh, it was uh, mentioning how to you know do this uh, use this match thresholds okay create exact match fuzzy match so when you click on this uh, fuzzy match uh, sip telling um, here here it is it is talking about uh, score also match criteria hmm, where exactly it is uh, uh, matched set the minimum score needed to match an input record with a lookup record okay so to understand simply match match record scores so instead of 100 percent matching with my data i want at least 60 percent if it is matching with the data then I, let's take it if you want to do in such way i can change it to 60 but the thing is uh, this uh, review record always the match record score must be uh, greater than this uh, reviewed score so 60 means it won't accept so first you need to change this to 50 percent the reviewed record score and then i can change it this to 60 okay you can uh, try to understand more by going to the sip help but this way it will help uh, it's working for me hmm? so match record score so when i am doing this fuzzy match i don't need 100 percent match of the data at least 60 percent of the data if it is matching then consider that match record so i changed the match strategy to fuzzy match and then i changed the match 
thresholds here and then I need to define the match columns here. So match columns are not coming so let's select the match columns from the left hand side and the right hand side also. Material. So these are the match columns. Hmm? That's it. No need to drag and drop. Once you selected a match column, so these two will be matched. Now uh, everything was set here. Uh, no need to do any further. Now I'm deploying this one. So after deploying successful, then let's run one more time to see if it is working or not. So when the process completed, so it's uh, running still. Let's click on the diagram white panel. Then you can get the properties of your intelligent lookup. Now I'm waiting for the status to be turned to deployed. So once it is done, then I can run this uh, uh, intelligent, intelligent lookup one more time. So it was successful. Now I am running one more time. So because of fudgy search, now the leftover 29% of the data also will get uh, matched exactly. So you see now, after fudgy search, this 29% also got passed. Now when I click on this uh, output table, now let's see what is uh, the coming output. You see now for all the records of the input material, I am getting the proper description. It means what exactly happened here? We are defining multiple rules on my input data set to get you know uh, the desired output. How I am defining these rules based upon the data, understanding where and all SAP is rejecting uh, you know this, then applying special rules to get the proper uh, output. So this is one of the simple example for our understanding. But when we go to this SAP help, here SAP is giving some other examples where it is using, you know, latitude, longitude information and city and, uh, you know, uh, uh, country, region information, such kind of examples SAP is just providing on their SAP help portal. Okay, you can go to those and you can explore from there also how to use this intelligent lookup. So once after intelligent lookup is completed, what exactly we can do? We can use this intelligent lookup as a input. Okay, so as a input to uh, to our data flows and the views. Okay, uh, that's it. I can say I think because uh, when when we try to create. Uh, any table, when we try to create any uh, graphical view or data flows or analytical model, uh, not analytical models, uh, graphical view and uh, data flows, so we have an option showing, you know, for, as a source of intelligent lookup also. So there you can use it. But uh, if there is extra from data um, on the on my input, if some new records got inserted, again I need to run this uh, uh, intelligent lookup to identify the exact matches for it. Okay, that's all about, you know, um, in, in decent lookup for today's session. Thank you.